Hello everyone, in today's lesson we're going to continue learning about the subjunctive. Now we're going to learn about the subjunctive with adjective clauses. So let's begin by looking at what is an adjective clause. So an adjective clause is a sentence that describes a noun. And usually this sentence is connected to the main clause by a relative uh, pronoun, such as que, or that in English, or a relative adverb, such as donde. So let's look at two examples to understand this better. Busco una novia que sea sensible. I'm looking for a girlfriend who is sensitive. Notice the relative pronoun que and the sentence sea sensible is my adjective clause because it's describing the type of girlfriend I'm looking for. Queremos un mundo donde se viva en paz. We want a world where one lives in peace. So donde is my relative adverb and se viva en paz is my adjective clause because that is the kind of world that I want. Okay, so with adjective clauses, we use the subjunctive in three instances. The first one is when um, we don't know the subject. For example, Ana necesita un amigo que le dé consejos. Ana needs a friend who gives her advice. So we don't know precisely who is that friend. All we know is that we want someone who could give her advice. The second instance when we use the adjective clauses and the subjunctive is when the subject doesn't exist. So, for example, if I say, no hay nadie aquí que se atreva a bailar salsa, there's no one here who dares to dance salsa, then basically by saying there's no one here, the subject doesn't exist. So, um, as a result, this triggers the subjunctive. Se atreva is the subjunctive form of the verb atreverse or to there. And no hay nadie aquí, it means the subject doesn't exist. Now, when we have questions such as, ¿Conoce a alguien que no tenga problemas? Do you know anyone who doesn't have problems? So, it triggers the subjunctive, que no tenga problemas, because the subject is in question, meaning we still don't know if there is a person who we know doesn't have problems. So unlike the subjunctive with noun clauses in our acronym WEIRDO, there is no such an equivalent for um, the subjunctive with adjective clauses. However, there are certain expressions that trigger the subjunctive. Expressions such as necesitar algo or alguien que. Buscar algo o a alguien que or donde. The next one will be no conocer a nadie que. No hay nada que. And no hay nadie que. Okay, and that's it for today.